Hey, welcome back to the series, Healing Health Issues Naturally. I'm Michelle, and in the last few videos, I shared with you how I healed endometrial polyps naturally back in 2015, and also around that time frame, how I healed a severe case of tendonitis that was supposed to go into surgery, but I avoided that surgery, and my wrists have been strong and healthy ever since. And also more recently, how I had healed an ovarian cyst naturally, and how I'm healing gut issues naturally. So these stories are less about the symptoms that I was dealing with and more about these natural healing modalities that I discovered. And they're truly miraculous stories. I mean, they still blow my mind till this day. So I encourage you, if you haven't seen them yet, you can check them out in the playlist. I'll share a link in the description below for you. And when I started this series, my intention was to give you hope that yes, your body can and wants to heal and also to encourage you and empower you to be your own advocate. Don't just go to a doctor and get a pill and be done with your day because a lot of the times we're not really getting to the root of the problem. I recognize there is a place for surgery and medications. Sometimes it's necessary, but as a yoga therapist and as a human being, I just, I want to do everything I can to support my health and well-being in a natural way before I resort to those measures. So that is the intention with this series. And interestingly enough, when I started this Healing Health Issues Naturally series, I started dealing with some very weird and freaky health issues that came up. So that's what I'm sharing with you today and also a new natural healing modality that, I, that I'm learning about right now, which is really fascinating. So back in April, I started getting these really strange symptoms and it included leg pains and spasms that were rather intense, also pain in my knees, pain in my glutes, in my low back, and it was accompanied by loud cracking sounds. I kid you not, every single time I would take a step, it was like crack, crack, creak, crack. I mean, it's like, I was like, what is happening to my body? And on top of those physical symptoms, I was also dealing with brain fog, um, fatigue and difficulty concentrating. So these were all symptoms of fibromyalgia that were popping up. So as soon as it started happening, the first thing I was like, I need to take care of this. And I was already on the path of healing. You know, I had kind of a slew of health issues that came up um, since the pandemic started, which involved that ovarian cyst and the gut issues. And I had some back pain earlier. So I, I worked through all of those and I healed those. And then I discovered there was an underlying root, some deeper stuff going on. And this is the, the, the hidden cause between these more major pains I've been dealing with and this brain fog and this fatigue. And so when I was in the midst of discovering that I had an ovarian cyst, which was prior to feeling all of these symptoms I just shared with you, I was researching what to get done for my blood work. I didn't want to just test my hormones. I had a feeling my hormones were off because of the ovarian cyst, but I knew that I wanted to, ju I just wanted to test everything. So I tested thyroid, heavy metal toxins, um, all my vitamin levels where I'm at. And also this is a test that I highly recommend that most doctors won't give you on your blood work unless you ask for it, Epstein-Barr virus. So Epstein-Barr virus I'm learning is um, often the cause of many autoimmune diseases. And so when I had tested back in um, several, you know, a couple months before getting these symptoms, I noticed that my Epstein-Barr virus numbers were very high. So here's the thing. Most everybody, 95% of the population likely has Epstein-Barr virus. For the most part, it remains dormant for us. However, certain things, certain stressors, certain chemicals and toxins, certain things can trigger it and then your numbers can go up and it can cause some other issues. So I was already on the path of researching what can I do to lower my Epstein-Barr virus numbers. And I was talking to two of my doctors and they both suggested vitamin C infusion therapy so that I would get like a vitamin C injection every week for multiple weeks. And we were going back and forth. And finally, one of my other, uh, the second doctor said, you know, I think the vitamin C will be really helpful for you. It, it should get the numbers down. However, he thought that it would be a band-aid, and we need to go deeper to address the root causes. I'm so grateful for my doctors. Really, 
Guys, do your research. Find a good medical doctor that you're comfortable with who's also holistically minded. This changed everything for me. And I, I will tell you openly and upfront, it took me a couple years to find some of these doctors. I'm not saying that's what it's gonna take you, but just don't give up. That's, that's the, the message that I wanna share with that. Don't give up on that. So anyway, um, he referred me to another doctor who's a functional medicine practitioner and he specializes in quantum energy medicine. So this is this new healing, or it's new for me. It's a new healing modality that focuses on the, the foundation is quantum physics. Everything is made up of energy. You're made of energy, I'm made of energy. Even our thoughts and our emotions have an energetic frequency. I'll get into that in another video. That's a whole other video right there. But going back to this energy frequency, so say for instance, a perfectly functioning kidney organ will emit a certain frequency that can be measured and read. Now, if that kidney is diseased in any way, it will emit a different frequency and it will emit a frequency of what that disease is. So each disease, each chemical, each toxin, every cancer, every virus emits its own frequency and it creates a disturbance within our energy field that then physically manifests into these issues that we might be experiencing. So with this, this is just so fascinating with me because we're now really getting to the, the, the root level of things. So yes, Epstein-Barr virus was discovered again um, on, on that appointment when I, um, when I went for the quantum energy medicine. And Epstein-Barr virus was present in parts of my brain, in my kidneys. Also, they were, whew, my kidneys were laden with a bunch of things, including Roundup weed killer. That's very prevalent and also propofol, which is a general anesthesia used for um, to put people to sleep during surgery. And yes, I, I actually had to have a surgery, a gum surgery. Uh, this was maybe 15 years ago, and that was still in my body, the anesthesia that was used back then. Also found strains of mold in my brain, in my heart, and there was just, there was a laundry list of things going on in my body. I actually, when I came from the appointment, I was like, uh, how am I even functioning right now? And I truly believe that I have done so well in the sense uh, that because I've done everything to change my diet and to support my gut microbiome. That's a huge, huge help right there. Also, I, you know, I haven't been able to exercise the same way, but I am meditating and that is also helping me a lot. So doing things to support ourselves naturally along that healing process, I think that's how I've been able to make it this far. So I received this protocol of this quantum energy medicine that is three and a half months long to be able to clear out all the stuff that they found. I am now one month into the protocol. And so far I can say that I, the cracking in my body, like I, I literally, like I said, every step I took, I was cracking loudly. Cracking is completely gone already. Um, I do still have leg pains. It is less and less over time though. So what I'm noticing is that there's still things that need to be cleared out in my kidneys. There's still things that need to be cleared out in other organs. So I am definitely expecting that there's going to be more of that, uh, more of that clearing happening and more ability for me to be able to exercise the way I want to exercise. So, um, goodness, what else, what else? I definitely have noticed an improvement in my energy and in my mood overall. And I'm going to tell you straight up, I do have some down days. Uh, you can imagine being a very physically active person. Uh, if, if you know me for a while, you know I've always been physically active. I'm always on the go. I love practicing yoga. I love lifting weights. I love kayaking. I, I'm, I'm even active in my, in my business, in my work as a yoga therapist. I'm lugging props. I'm demonstrating yoga positions. So I, I'm just naturally an active person. So it definitely threw a wrench into how I live my life, you know, it, it, I've had to slow down with a lot of things. I've had to really make time for myself to rest. This is why I'm only doing the YouTube videos every two weeks, because this is about all I can handle between, you know, um, being able to be here for my clients, being able to be here for the people in my life. And, and also ultimately we gotta be here for ourselves first and foremost, because you can't pour from an empty cup. 
So this is part of this journey and I'm really excited to share with you as I go through this protocol, the, the healing that I'm experiencing and sharing more with you about quantum energy medicine and how this all works. I'm still learning it too. So we're in this together. And in the next video, I want to share with you my, now I'm starting to develop an understanding of how disease is created. And I'm really excited to share with you how it is created and, and also some tips of how we can keep ourselves healthy and well and support our journey of healing, whatever it is that you're healing. So if something in this video resonated for you, please let me know in the comments. I really love to hear from you guys and um, let me know, are you in the midst of healing something? Have you discovered any natural healing modalities that are working for you or that have worked for you in the past? The more that you share here in the community, the more you never know who you're helping. Your comment might help someone like a couple months down the road that is is stopping by and, and sees your comment and is like, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. And that might be the very thing that saves them. So I so love your comments. Thank you for sharing. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna find out more about this stuff, you can subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And in the meantime, take care of you.